On a really basic practical level, it's really useful for getting Joe and us together in the same place to have a day long period of making because at the minute I live in the northeast of England, so any opportunity for us to be in a place uh, together for a whole day is like gold dust. But just having structured learning time and making time and being given task-based exercises and content generating exercises is really, really useful. And also being, because we usually work and it's just the two of us and I think we um, have been really wanting to work with other people and see how our dynamic shifts when we're with other artists and this gives us a chance to, to do that and it's been really positive and opens up different windows of thinking for us about our practice. We're working on a project about surveillance and being watched and we're interested in telling a story about the relationship between um, or what, then, yeah, the relationship between state, state and individual and the way that the state is able to, without any regulation or restriction, surveil the population in a way that is completely invisible to them. And in order to look at that further, we wanted to cast that story as an interpersonal relationship. So to look at what it would be like if these were two people in a relationship and one was constantly watching the other one and gradually giving away information about the fact that they knew far more than they really had the right to know. So we're developing a narrative around that. But in this project we're also looking at um, the ability of personal devices to record your everyday life, um, their ability to betray you and the power of the remix in terms of taking your digital trail and all of the communications and digital detritus that you leave behind you every day and playing with all of the different narratives that could be constructed untruthfully about you by taking bits of information that you've left your metadata and putting it back together in a different way because I think that's something we're really quite terrified of. So that's the overarching themes and we're just looking at little snapshots every week. I think working, being set tasks with specific types of technology is really good for us because there's types of tech that we haven't played with, like two-channel headsets. We don't, we don't own any, so it's really exciting to get to play with them. But also I think we get a little bit too overexcited by technology um, and so we never know which one to choose. We want to do everything with everything um, and, and, and we get a bit too overexcited and don't refine our ideas. So it's really nice being you know, assigned, for example, today, social media or Skype and last week, two channel headsets and, and working with that solidly for a couple of hours and really exploring that medium rather than wanting to do everything with projectors and cameras and CCTV and, and then getting a bit lost. So that's been really great. Um, I really like having time to just warm up physically together in the morning. That just creates a really nice sense of community and trust and I think that's so vital and lovely as well.